You know what always gets on my tits? America and their superior market profitability. While things aren't anywhere near as bad as they used to be, video game releases can still be rough over here in Europe, with delays, uncertain launch dates, and straight up cancellations putting a lot of titles out of the reach of those on this side of the pond, which can be very annoying for us in the UK. Rest of the world who gives a shit. But if I got a treat for you today, a game that will make you Yanks jealous to the core. Battle Construction Vehicles. Only released outside of Japan and good old Europe, BCV was known across the land as one of the most highly revered classics of the PS2 era of gaming. <laughs> yeah, do you think they'll buy that? I mean, look, it took them three years to localize this thing. We're dealing with some earthbound translation caliber level shit right here. Congo. Hmm. Cross you. Ah, this this is gonna be good, isn't it? I mean, hey, I mean, come on. Why wouldn't they hire English actors if you're gonna localize mainly in the UK? Sounds good enough for me. Only room for one heroine here. Underestimate me, and you'll feel it. Oh God. Oh, oh, that title screen, jeez, such passion. Base Japan does it again. Okay, who's he running from? Probably a pack of cute girls. I mean, what a hunk. Looks like some hijinks are gonna go d to jesus uh, You're tough, Gramps. Listen to me. You must succeed your father. I beg you, young master. Shut it, Gramps. <laughs> Okay, okay, wait a minute. You, you, you for real with this shit? Shut it. Gramps, shut it. Gramps! It's so obvious the two parts of that sentence were recorded at completely different times. In fact, I'm pretty sure that Gramps was just lifted from a few seconds ago. You're tough, Gramps, 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 Gramps. And may I just take a moment to point out that a God Hand review written by IGN would probably be more accurate than this lip syncing is right now. I left because I didn't want to do just that, so he's dead. <sighs> Still no reason to change my mind. You see, this makes up for never getting Rido 2, right? It still has nothing to do with me. You're wrong, young master. Pfft, 999. Who needs that when we've got wrong? So production values lowered somewhat. The story continues in these stills. Find your own way. You know, I can respect that. Oh no, sorry, can't have that. Time to kill you with a crane. Speaking of which, old guy, how did you get from there to there before our protagonist Congo could even turn around? I like a quiet, loving, long-haired well-proportioned woman more than three meals a day. Well, okay, thanks for that relevant information, Congo. I tell you, I'm feeling this character development. Seriously, Congo, you getting ready for battle or trying to tell me which kind of host clubs we should hit up later? BCV. Start. That's the best they could do? Start. I mean, I know it's hard to act that enthusiastic about battle construction vehicles, but you couldn't sound any more excited than... Start. Okay, so let the fighting begin. The slow... Clunky, awkward fighting. So let me just get out the manual and I'll run down the controls. Square barges towards the left, triangle barges straight forward, and circle barges to the right. That's your lot. You can charge all of these tackles, but other than the ability to summon girders from the ground to block like some bargain basement Edward Elric, there's nothing much else to this. You just sort of nudge your way to victory. I tell a lie though because each vehicle does have its own special move. How do you do it? No clue. I have no idea what triggers this, but randomly now and again a circle will appear around a character. If the opponent finds themselves within this circle, then a special move will play out. And they're basically by far the most entertaining part of this game. I mean look, this is some Marvel tier shit. Some fucking Maximum Wesker up in here. You can also change the view. See pal, I don't know what you mean by FP view, but if I think it means what I think you think it means, I've got bad news to break to you because this ain't it. Put your back into it! You come on! Bungler. Come on! You back at you. Yeah, don't ask me about this either. For some reason, I think it's when the vehicles are face to face, this standoff will trigger and at the end I can heal Congo's ride by taking life off of his opponent. But why did those sound clips repeat the way they do? I mean, who designed the audio in this game? Sounds like a guy just went nuts on a soundboard and called it a day. One. Again, you're just bringing that hype announcer. Congo is somehow pulling off a wheelie and a bulldozer and all you can muster is... One. The first few chapters of the game basically involves Congo taking on construction members to recruit for his crew and rebuild his business so he can take on the evil conglomerate monopolizing the market. And these companions are definitely what you'd foresee. I'm as light as a feather today. 
good workout. Ah, well, I'm glad Congo has already considered signing the pain up to be on the team. What exactly are you aiming here for, Congo? A construction crew or the Cobra unit? You know, I only really expected a modest setup for the story of battle construction vehicles, but instead we get this crazy overblown visual novel that lasts longer than the fight sometimes. In fact, there's an entire chapter that's just story, no gameplay at all. <laughs> Ahead of the times, perhaps? It just involves Congo thinking a cute girl called Beth is gonna join the team, but then it turns out it's some big burly guy. <laughs> and people want to talk shit about there not being diversity in video games. The accents still crack me up. Keeps making me think they're trying to pass this place off as being in England. Because, you know, you just can't stop the builders here from wearing their traditional English construction robes and sitting on those old school British tatami carpets. Gotta say, though, these end of chapter jingles are pretty sick. Makes me feel like I'm playing through an old cheesy 80s anime. And like an old anime, we get sidetracked pretty quickly when what can only be described as a construction site mercenary attacks the team who was previously romantically involved with Beth who is a dude, right? I mean, this this is a gay thing. Carrying his child, but, but I thought he was a guy. I'm getting pretty confused here. The couple fight to settle their differences, at which point... But my feelings haven't changed, Jake. <laughs> I still care for you. I know you do, Beth. Jake. Good. I'm glad they sorted that out. You know, it must take some considerable effort to make a game about trucks that bump into each other and still have time for a gay secret agent romance. The plot just keeps taking all sorts of crazy turns, from price-fixing spies and blackmail to the head honcho of the enemy company straight up kidnapping one of the team, who then turns out to be his daughter. Shit's intense stuff. I mean, the gameplay is really boring, but damn if it isn't attached to one crazy ensemble drama. And you know what? It's actually pretty funny, all things considered. Even the finishing moves present some pretty humorous moments, like the one where your opponent tricks a group of housewives to run you over on the way to some sales, or this guy who sends you to the center of the earth. Okay, no, no, god damn it, no. What am I saying? This game is batshit. <laughs> I don't know if I can go on. You know, maybe I should calm down. It's not like the game can get any more ridiculous than this. Here's a dog. Here's a dog driving a digger. Well, we ain't topping this, are we? I think this is the end of this YouTube channel. Thanks everyone for sticking around. We had a good run. Women are not objects. They can't be won like trophies. My god, first the gay romance, now this biting look at the role damseled women play in video games? Truly, Battle Construction Vehicles is the progressive beacon of light the game industry has been searching for. Well, as things start heating up, it's finally time to take the fight to the evil corporation themselves. This game's already chucked everything at us, so I can't wait to see what curveballs await in the final chapters. Oh, shit! Really? The, the bad guy is his dad? Wait, wasn't he also the girl's dad? Oh boy, this is gonna get awkward. I kid you not, they actually confirm that Congo is the bad guy's son by chucking water on him to see if the shape of his head is the same. Who needs a DNA test when you have anime proportions to guide you, am I right? Things are getting pretty heated as the old man from the beginning decides to take on the villain himself in probably one of the hardest fights in the game. This is probably a good time to bring up the fact that the combat is pretty much completely broken. I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb, maybe I'm missing the hidden depth of BCV, but hit detection is just all over the place. Sometimes I land a direct hit and nothing happens, and then a little scrape from the enemy comes my way and boom, 10% down. Things don't go too well for the old man though as, oh, oh no, how could they kill our good friend? The man who brought us together. Oh, oh no, I, I, I see how it is. You, you play with my heart, BCV? I'm not putting up with this. Anyway, the final battle is versus the evil corporation's leader. Bring it on. You do realize even with me editing, this is rather hard to make exciting. My friend, it's for all you did to my father and mother! This is for all you did to damn Nord! Still not working, is it? Okay, I'll stop. You can't make it big without getting your hands dirty. Ha! You just don't understand anything! I can't believe that your blood flows within me. You see, I'm making all these Metal Gear jokes, but damn, these deep themes, man. It's giving Kojima a run for his money. But still, you cannot beat Yubei Shirabi. You will never surpass me. Never. 
Remember that. Whoa, fucking wrecked, mate. You will never surpass me. Never. And you, Kyoko, research your past a little. I adopted you. We are not connected by blood. What do you think of that? Huh? Whoa, 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 slow down a second. You researched her past? You're her dad. You raised her, didn't you? Did you forget you adopted her? You amnesiac motherfucker? Whew. I guess it was an incest after all. The end. Well, there you have it, Battle Construction Vehicles. What a heartfelt story. Truly one of the greats. Now, anyone in America want to trade me this for a copy of Retro Game Challenge? No? Nobody? Okay. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Don't worry, I'll be reviewing real games people actually care about again soon enough. Looking for more edgy opinions and unfocused ramblings in the meantime though? Check out the other videos or look me up on Twitter. Catch you later. You'll be working hungry if you don't start eating. <laughs>